ones here. Now, this is an interesting one. And ironic since it's a cold day. Um, I'm work I'm doing a review on a Scottish locomotive. Specifically one British Railways built for Scotland. Now you'd think, hang on, they made the 9Fs, they made the other standards. What could they have made for Scotland? Well, the clans. That's what they made for Scotland, the clans. Basically, baby Britannias. These are six MTs, the Britannias are seven MTs. And ironically, it's cheaper to get one of these. Now, I got one of these when they were first released. Um, haven't really been able to get around to doing a video for it yet, which it does seem a bit lazy, but work, personal life, and other models take up scheduling time. So, bite me. Anyways, enough flogging about. Let's put the kettle on, have a cuppa, and get on with this review. Okay, now, first of all, what we have here is Blake BR Clan Class, Clan Stuart, 72009. And as we see there, of course it's Hornby, R3969. Oh, sorry, 96. Annoyingly, thanks to a friend, I got that certain number stuck in my head, rat bastard. All right, take the sleeve off, and we have a little history bit on the back. Now, feel free to read, pause and read this, because I really cannot be stuffed doing that. Takes too much time, and yeah. All right. Get the sleeve out. Okay. Bit of paperwork, and as always, Hornby like to cover all the bases. And also, since the, uh, the clans are baby Brits, yeah, it's on the paperwork. Well, we have here lubrication, reassembly, accessories, body removal, and DCC. Brilliant. Yeah, the brake rods you never really worry about. Nine times out of ten, they're already fitted. Unless they're right cheap twits these days. And I know, Hornby's 20% price rise. Yikes. <sighs> Detail pack. Here we go. And there's a brake rigging. Damn it. Alright, let's see. Steps, spare coupling, drain cocks, brake pipes, vac pipes. And yeah, wheel set for the underside. Lovely. All in one little bundle that you'll probably lose in about 10 minutes. Cellophane plastic. Okay. From the top view, we can see it's quite a nice locomotive. I forgot that the BR standards all had their pipework outside. They didn't really give us stuff about looks. The above look, and also with older tooling, back with the older tooling, you could see the seam line on the boiler. I don't see a seam line, and I'm getting a good close look at it, but I do see rivet detail of where the cladding joined. I love that. And you can feel it too, which is even better. Ooh, safety valves are metal. That's good. Good start. Coal load. It is removable, but it's barely a coal load. Okay, now let's have a look on the sides here. Beautiful pipework and metalwork. That valve gear looks brilliant. Standard connection there. Sprung buffers, that's good. Detail alone is looking brilliant. The cab looks a treat. Wow. Tender looks really good too. Hang on, just got to, yep, the roof vents, they slide open and shut. That's cool, I like that. Single chimney, unlike the Britannia, some of them went double. Oh, we got the three link coupling on the front too, that's cool. All right, let's, whoop, carefully spin her around. I know I'm ruining a good kitchen table now, but oh well. 
And she looks a treat. We've got NEM couplings, lovely. Hmm. Looks quite solid. Okay, let's get this on the layout and see how it does on a crawl. But fair warning to viewers, um, I've been doing a lot of projects lately and like an idiot forgot to tidy up. Damn, remote's never working when you want it to. Okay, here we are at the model club and we have the Splendid Clan. Trouble is, I don't really have many uh, Scottish region coaches. So, bit of modeler's license. I'm, whoops, had the direction sort the wrong way. I'm going to use something that's not exactly Scottish, but I think looks funny behind the clan. Southern Region Suburbans. So, yeah. These actually have a fair bit of drag on them. I've yet to free up the wheels a bit. So, it'll be a good test of power for the locomotive. Plus, well, a green locomotive deserves a green train. Let's get rolling. And by the way, that's the coach's squeaking, not the loco. Oh, fair enough on that one. It's very funny though, when you learn a new language, for some reason you instantly, apart from greetings, you instantly go for the curse words. Well, sometimes I just start talking in German to people. So I just say, uh, Morning mister, how are you? You schnice to give a lie back. I'm so sorry to the viewers for the poor oh, language that's been said out loud in the background. Actually, I think after hearing that, I might get demonetized. Mm. Actually, I never have been monetized in the first place, so I'm free from that anyway. Crikey, that is tight round the bridge. Here. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I need to go ahead and test your layout, set your jump on the curve. Oh, so you're going to do this. Oh, stop, stop. Frank's nice and close around.